हेलो एवरीबॉडी नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर मनदीप मल्होत्रा आई एम द डायरेक्टर फॉर सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजी एट सी के बिल्ला हॉस्पिटल इन न्यू डेली एज वी ऑल नो फोर्थ फेब्रवरी इज द वर्ल्ड कैंसर डे सो आर मैसेज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इज दैट प्लीज डोंट गिव अप इट इज़ नॉट दैट वेन बी वेन समबडी इज डायग्नोड विथ कैंसर इट इज़ लाइक एंड ऑफ द रोड वी वॉन्ट टू शेयर फ्यू आर एक्सपीरियंसेज पेशेंट स्टोरीज विद ऑल ऑफ यू विच हैव मोटिवेटेड अस टू वर्क मोर ऑन दिस फील्ड and also i think it might help you all so there was a young 35 year female unmarried we saw her around 7 to 8 months back and when she came to us it was like a grim situation that there was a tumor in the breast which had fungated out and she was in septicemia there was a septicemic shock there was very high fever urine output was very limited the blood pressure was also falling so first we managed the septicemic part that is the infection part of it and the infection was due to that the tumor had bursted out of the chest wall and there was all pus flowing everywhere so it it took us at least 3 to 4 days to manage that part of it and once that part was managed obviously when we staged that tumor so it was a breast cancer which had spread to the lungs which had spread to the lymph nodes and also a part of the few nodes in the liver was also involved and this is a triple negative kind of variety so breast cancer has varieties it's a triple negative that is hormone negative then there is a, a two positive in which we give immunotherapy it works and the best part is that there is a hormone positive kind of breast cancer which is like very treatable but unfortunately for her it was a triple negative and it was a aggressive cancer and obviously when she came to us it was a very advanced stage and but she was very determined that is what i want to share with all of you that ultimately it's patient's will power which also governs a lot of things and she was really determined and she wanted to fight it out so at this stage when there is pus flowing obviously there is no chemotherapy or something which we can give because if we give chemotherapy the tlc count will go down and it will again end up in septicemia which might not be treatable so we first embarked upon a palliative surgery that is we removed the tumor with the margins were clear we removed the chest wall muscle even and we took tissue from the back to reconstruct the whole chest wall or breast you can say and within 2 to 3 weeks when we were looking into that when we were removing the stitches we started seeing that the nodules of cancer were coming back and then obviously it was slightly disheartening for us that but i still feel that the patient did not give, uh, lose hope and she gave it a fight we started chemotherapy and uh, so it was a chemotherapy in triple negative normally chemotherapy is works well in some cases also when we were giving chemotherapy we integrated with certain things like uh in 1970s uh, 80s uh, high dose of iv vitamin c has been used and uh, there is uh, mr linus pauling pauling who even got the nobel prize for it so high dose of iv vitamin c actually makes chemotherapy more effective and it decreases the side effects also so we integrated this with high dose of iv vitamin c and there was a recent drug uh, in covid which uh, the drdo launched that is called as 2dg so this is also it is primarily an anti cancer drug so it was available with us so it basically decreases the cell division and also makes uh, patients more sensitive to chemotherapy so these were very simple measures which we added upon plus some amount of natural supplements and all and it was for us also it was an amazing feeling that after when we were at 2 to 3 cycles down the line the tumor nodules just started disappearing and after around 3 uh, cycles when we got a pet scan done so there was a complete response there in the chest wall the nodules had gone the lymph nodes had really had decreased significantly and it was uh, she was back she was uh, walking she was doing everything we also integrated a kind of an ayurvedic pack which is there and which prevents uh, hair loss and this also worked for her so she had retained some form of natural hairs now it is like we have completed her chemotherapy it is now 6 months down the line 
शी इज बैक टू हर वर्क इज जॉइंट बैक हर वर्क एंड विल शेयर स्मॉल डेस्टिमोनियल ऑफ हर्स एंड विल इन विच यू कैन सी दैट शी लुक्स नॉर्मल हर हेयर इज नॉर्मल एंड शी इज बैक टू अ लाइफ breast cancer survivor i would like to thank dr mandeep dr harsimran and entire team for the treatment and care they provide, give me during my hospital stay not only they are a very good doctor but yes they are also a very good human being i would like to recommend them to everyone because they are very honest about the treatment thank you sir for all the guidance and support you provided to us in this case we followed an integrative approach an integrative approach i meant to say we did surgery we did chemotherapy we integrated with uh, nutritional supplements we even used natural supplements we used our ayurvedic medicine to pre- prevent uh, the hair loss so a positive f- effect comes into the picture the patient feels good she has a positive immunity and ultimately cancer is what cancer is body's own cell which goes wrong right so it's her own immunity which can take care of it so at this point of time she is back to her life she is living normal life I hope that she lives longer and she lives even longer than me. Thank you.